guess. Wait. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Ready? Hello. My name is Ashwin, and I'm a seasoned nature expeditionaire. From my vast experiences, I've gained a wealth of knowledge that I will now pass on to you. From caving in New Zealand to discovering wild animals in Africa, from the coldest corners in Alaska to the hottest deserts in Texas, I'll bring you along on my journey through this planet we call Earth, because this is Ashwin Enjoys Nature. On today's episode of Ashwin Enjoys Nature, we've come to Badlands National Park. On today's episode of Ashwin Enjoys Nature, we've come to Badlands National Park, located in... On today's episode of Ashwin Enjoys Nature, we've come to Badlands National Park, located in Western South Dakota. When you're in Badlands, you're surrounded by large, impressive rock formations, but you're also standing on millions of years of mammalian history. This park is one large cache for fossils of ancient mammal species, such as the American Mastodon, Sabertooth Cat, and Gila Monster. We'll be on the lookout for these fossils today. Now let's get out there and see if Badlands truly puts the bad in Badlands. Badlands has been a constantly changing landscape for the past 47 million years. Wind and water have eroded the rocks into sharp pinnacles and massive booties. While some booties bulge out of the ground to eye level, others are large enough to be trekked. It was on one of these where we met our first animal, bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep are easily spotted because of their cranial adornment called horn. Their horns are a protrusion from their skull and are used by males to duel over food and impress ooze. These horns can weigh up to 30 pounds, which makes up about 10% of the sheep's overall weight. Did you know? There are more atoms in a bighorn sheep's horns than bones in the rest of its body. These sheep just eat throughout the day, chase each other for fun, and navigate the gullies till sunset. Oh, to be young again. Bighorn sheep serve as a healthy reminder to- <coughs> Oh, you know what that sound means. It's time for- Name that rock! Igneous. As the sun sign spread across the rugged hills, it was as good as time as any to don on our digging caps and go searching for fossils. Now a secret paleontological technique for finding fossils is to tap the ground and listen to how the ground responds. If it sounds hollow, there's a high likelihood a fossil is present. Fossils become surrounded with pockets of air as the bones exhale oxygen over millions and millions of years, a process known as fibrosis. Not this time. Our fossil search won't end there, but in the meantime, I wanted to explore the vast plains at the top of the gullies. While hiking these gullies, I met a very active member of the plains ecosystem, American pronghorn. Famous for being the first animal aboard Noah's Ark, the pronghorn share the same ecological niche in America as antelope do in Africa. Known in native Lakota folklore as nature's GPS, pronghorns would lead natives to watering holes and other nutritious pronghorns. Along certain trails and bad la- Oh, okay. I guess it's time for name that rock again. Deciduous. After getting my fill of plains, I venture over to a famous part of Badlands, the Door Trail. Voted number 5 on TripAdvisor for things to do in South Dakota, I had to see it for myself. Walking the door feels like walking on Mars with the scarred earth and lack of vegetation. A highlight of the door is the distinct level layers of contrasting color in the rock. The layers of white and red rocks are a result of millions of years of rock depositions. Each colored layer represents a different geological period in which a different type of rock was laid. These layers are a helpful tool for archaeologists to determine the age of the different rock formations. The mixing of red and white rock also symbolizes this region's harmonious integration of Native and Anglo-Americans. As we turn away from Door Trail, we come about- <coughs> uh, 
Seriously, again? <laughs> okay. Uh. Morgan. As the day waned on, my hopes for finding a fossil began to wane on as well. But just as dawn turns to dusk, my misfortunes reverse. Today is our lucky day. Wow, there she is. Oh. As this genuine fossil gives us a glimpse into Badlands past, it's time for us to reflect on our own recent past in Badlands. Encompassed by a splendor of rocks and wildlife, we were fully immersed into the natural history that pervades this breathtaking landscape. From the stagnant cottontail to the distant buffalo, I'm not shy to say that I enjoyed this nature. <laughs>